finally got the old gasket off. Took quite a while. You could see all the bits of it all around the engine. I scraped it off with a bit of copper pipe, just flattened on the edge, and then filed a bit. Because that's softer than the block, it doesn't scratch it. So that's good. So now I'm just going to use the same thing to do the head. As you can see, a lot of carbon build up there on the inlet valve. Yeah. So I'm going to get the rest of this old gasket off of the head. And then we'll clean up that bit there. And then I'm going to see about getting new rings because. Yeah. They're pretty worn, so you can maybe be able to see you can actually move the piston. So they are pretty bad, so I don't think it's worth doing all this and then uh, not replacing the rings. I've had a look on eBay, you could get the full gasket set for it, so I might just renew the rings. Oh, let's see what the head cleans up like. It's day three on the Suffolk teardown. Well, not really. I haven't been looking at it for the last few days. But I'm going to try and get the engine off of the um, mower deck. I've got no idea how that actually happened, so... I'm just going to start taking things off and see where that gets me. Who knows. Well, I took that cover off. Only to find that the bolts under here are actually welded to the deck. So, all I, got, all I had to do was just loosen the bolts. That's plus, because I ain't got to try and fiddle around getting to any nuts under there to undo it. So, the bolts are all relatively loose now sort of coming out so I whip all those out and then I suppose if you just undo that enough the shaft should hopefully slide off of the clutch hopefully he says clutch the whole clutch assembly slides out I really don't know so whatever it does I'm gonna try it now so hopefully the engines free off the deck now the clutch just pulls out basically all the clutches so when the engine is rovered up off of idle these just flick out a little bit and engages so that was handy I didn't even have to take the actual main clutch assembly off which is good. So now just to disconnect the fuel line, drain the fuel line, and then we can clear the bench and get the engine up on the bench ready to start taking it apart. Got the Suffolk engine completely off the mower now. The deck is over there. So what I'm going to do now is I've loosened up the oil drain plug again. I'm going to drain the old oil out of it, well, it's not really old oil, and into a nice clean tub, because I don't know yet, I might reuse this oil, the oil, I might put fresh in it, who knows, maybe drain the oil from this and put the oil out of this into the Morrison, maybe, who knows, I'll do something with the other oil, because it's not going to be dirty, that's for sure. So, let's drain that out now. It might come and gush it out this time. Ah, there we go. It's a little black. Well, I don't know actually, it's probably not very discoloured from what the 
oil actually originally looked like to be honest. Well I'm going to let this drain off so. Well there's the oil. It's pretty nice and clean still. Don't look the colour of it there for you. You can see what, it, what that oil looks like in the bottle up there. The same colour so. Okay, so because I'm thinking of using that oil again, I'm going to stick a little lid over it just to keep the crap out of there. Now I could sit that down somewhere, just stick it on top of those batteries there. that do. So now the oil's drained out of it, I'm going to try and get those sump bolts out, see what happens don't intend on taking the flywheel off or anything so I'm not going to turn it over because it's got no oil in it now so just going to take the old air filter off I don't know if there's supposed to be an air filter sponge in these if there is then this one doesn't have one But there actually is one in my um, BSA that's got the same style carburetor, just slightly different. Well, this engine obviously wants to be repaired because nothing's being of any trouble whatsoever. Every bolt's coming out fine, which is good. So I'm just going to loosen those off and we'll see if the sump comes off. 